amazing job on this movie. Thank oh, you. Oh my gosh. First and I have to ask, did you were you a fan of the original Shining? I'd heard of it, but I hadn't read it before the callback. Really? Yeah. Talk to me about the audition process because that's a, it's a pretty coveted role. Yeah, um, it was very long and very confusing. <laughs> Definitely because I did not expect getting a callback. I was fresh out of summer camp when I got the first audition. It was super long and I had to rush to get it done. I did not like what I sent in. But um, a month later, I got a callback. I did not know why, but I spent two days with my acting coach working on the character, working on Abra and Dan's connection, and I sent it in, felt much better about it. And I hoped and hoped that I'd book it or get another callback. And a week later, the director, he called my mom and he said, hey, we'd love Kylie to come in and read with Mr. Ewan. Oh my goodness, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was shaking and twitching all over the place. But I read the lines and I was sure that I knew the character. I went in and I did my best. Now, I booked it. When you, yeah, and you did a great job when you did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when you were doing stuff at the Overlook Hotel, obviously some of that stuff was taken from Stanley Kubrick's original designs. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have any like weird experiences on set? like? Not really, it was a really positive vibe on set. It was mostly us walking. Completely opposite from the movie. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we were all walking around exploring, going, wow, look at that. Yeah. Um, what is uh, what, what is Abra's favorite power to you? Well, I think maybe moving things with her mind or t yeah, telekinesis and telepathy. I'm sure sometimes it bothers her because she doesn't want to always know what people are thinking, but telekinesis and her telepathy. No, she also has this confidence about her. Can you talk to me about balancing that with also the kind of uh, figuring out what her power is? Well, she's always seen it as kind of a magic trick. She doesn't quite understand sure. it. But once she meets Dan, he's kind of her mentor and tells her and teaches her about the shine. Now, working with Mike, um, he, he's been building up to this project for such a long time. Can you talk to me about the collaboration process with him? Oh, he's amazing. He's such a talented director. I mean, it was so much fun working with him. He gives us so much creative freedom and I really appreciated that. Is there anything, um, do you believe in like spirits at all? Is there anything? Well, I'm not sure. I'm sure there are energies that humans don't understand, but you never know. You never know, that's a true you never story. Know. Um, with uh, working with you and, and Rebecca, Talk to me about uh, maybe any advice they may have given you uh, on set. Well, watching them was a lot of guidance for me because one, I'm new to this and I didn't really know how to act on set. It was a lot of fun and sometimes overwhelming and watching them really was a comfort to me. Uh, do you see yourself at all in the character Abra and is there anything you can take away from that character that you can use with anything else uh, in your life? I think our personalities are very similar, um, but when it comes to planning, I would be way more cautious with, I'd take like two months to build a giant army and then go after the true knot. She's way more brave than I am. You channel Ewan in a scene, and I love that scene. Yeah. Um, can you talk to me about just getting, because capturing Dan, really Dan instead mm -hmm. of Ewan, but talk to me about that, how that worked out. Well, um, during the callback, they wanted me to watch Mr. Ewan and how he'd play that scene, so I watched him, and um, that helps a lot. So every time he'd work, I'd just keep watching him, see how he moved, how he acted, and then I just channeled that. Now there's also um, a dark shine, a little bit, to Abra. Yes. Can you, oh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, just a little bit, but can you talk to me about that? Yeah, well, it was a lot of fun playing with Abra's negative energy because she has so much suppressed anger and there's this hole in her heart because she's quite distant from her parents. They don't really understand her. So whenever something horrible happens, all that negative energy just comes spouting out. 